This next story may remind us of the good there is in this world. An Alberta woman couldn't stand the thought of her grandma celebrating her birthday alone. Turning to social media, the granddaughter devised a sweet surprise. As Jill Croteau reports, her ideas sparked connections across the country. Here's a nice big one. It's a chilly December day. This is one from William. He's in grade two. But 95-year-old Rena Harris would willingly sit out here all day long. I can't believe it. You're 95 years young. What a milestone. Savoring every single birthday wish from people she's never even met. Sincerely, Doreen Stoby. Isn't that nice? Yes. Saskatchewan. Showing off a box full of treasured notes and cards. It sounds like you are truly loved by your family. She certainly is. Her granddaughter Vicky couldn't bear the thought of her spending her special day alone. So she recruited some people on Facebook to drop a card in the mail. It just exploded. So many people wanted to write her and it's been overwhelming a bit to be honest. You know that so many people want to celebrate with her. Oh, it's just great. <laughs> I just love mail. But something even more profound came from this call out for cards. It was very inspiring as well because people were writing back to me saying, you know, because of this post, I've sent a letter to my grandma or, you know, because of this, I've now called my grandma for the first time in years, you know, and so if at the end of the day, it means people are reaching out to their seniors in their life, you know, um, that's all I could ever ask for. Now I'll get emotional. I thought it was really, really lovely, heartwarming, and uh, I think my husband and I did a good job raising her. Grandma Rena is planning on sending thank you notes back to those who thought of her. But you can count on this feisty lady to include one minor correction. I tell them I'm only 39. They got the wrong number. <laughs> the best honestly um i'm very blessed i could only wish that any everyone could have a grandma like mine jill croteau global news